An organization dedicated to helping victims of mass shootings continues its work in Fordyce, helping families there affected by the Mad Butcher grocery store shooting that happened over the summer. Channel 7's Kayla Christian joins us live tonight from our newsroom with more on how this organization is trying to help those families through the holidays. Kayla. Chris Beth Victims First is a coalition of people from across the country who they or their loved ones were involved in a mass shooting. Now, though the Fordyce tragedy struck months ago, Victims First says there's still a chance to help the families. Victims First meets communities affected by mass shootings where they are, making sure victims' families and survivors get immediate financial assistance. We make sure a centralized victims fund is set up so 100% that goes in actually gets to the victims directly um, and is not just put everywhere all over town, which sometimes happens across the United States. While money was raised right after the shooting, Fordyce families, much like others, months later still need help. Because of that, Victims First, the Arkansas Community Foundation, and the Mass Violence Survivors Fund are working together to provide additional assistance. The donations that are, are put in, 100% that goes in, will go out directly to the families via equitable um, distribution process overseen by Jeff Dion and the Mass Violence Survivors Fund. Pushing harder for more donations since this Fordyce Fund has only reached about half of the money raised in comparison to other mass shooting funds organized by Victims First. We have families from 21 different mass shootings across the United States currently working to raise funds um, to help the Fordyce families just because it wasn't a large nationally recognized mass shooting with a lot of media attention doesn't mean that the grief and the, and the suffering isn't the same. While some wounds they can't heal, Victims First wants to help where they can, especially during one of the toughest seasons to face after tragedy. This is the first holiday season that four families will be uh, living without their loved ones. There will be an empty chair across from them at Thanksgiving and, and Christmas. So when we're all celebrating our big Christmases throughout the state or throughout the country, we also have to remember there's still victims and survivors out there that are still mourning, that are still going through surgeries, that are still going through uh, emotions. Now, all donations to the Mass Violence Survivors Fund have to be made by December 20th. The funds will be distributed to the family shortly after. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian.